All right, guys, so picture this, okay? You're watching a new anime, it is running on air, and it's updating weekly. It is summer, it is your school break, and you are up to episode 11, and you know this anime finishes on episode 12. By the end of episode 11, there is still not a beach episode. However, bam, episode 12, whoa, suddenly we have to go to the beach, boys. We're gonna be getting the washboard abs, we're gonna be getting the lovely ladies in their nice swimsuits. It's just gonna be a wholesome time for everybody, and all the characters are having fun. And that, my friends, is what this felt like when I saw this. Hi. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about this summer or a lot of speculation actually because we have had a, quite a lot of stuff drop in the last few days. And so guys, this is not going to be purely informational, educational, whatever. It's going to be a lot of speculation and like a lot of the logical reasons as to why I like came to these conclusions. I'm also going to talk a lot about like the different options or like the different pathways that they could actually take with all of this. But again, massive caveat that this is a speculation video. However, with that being said, let's go into the facts first. So let me turn this back a little bit and show you guys this one over here, which actually came out like yesterday or the day before. So what you can see here is that this is actually like an outfit system or like a skin system for our Aurorians. On top of this panel, you can see that it says Ascension 3. So I would assume that Ascension 1 and 2 are going to be over here. However, on the other side, we also have this bad boy over here, which looks like a summer skin. You know what I'm saying? Oh, ho, ho, ho. However, before we get into the summer aspect of it, I want to talk more about this system over here. And it's very, very, very similar to the Arknight system inspired right guys like who doesn't like a bit of inspiration and so what I think is coming here is the ability to change your art or like your form from ascension 1 to ascension 3 to skins or outfits and so for you guys who don't know we're actually unable to switch back to ascension 1 art even though it's a lot nicer for some characters that is like for me personally I really really like the Uriel ascension 1 art so you can see this is Uriel right here however when I click into my Aurorians over here you can see that Uriel is gonna be actually ascension 3 you can see that art there not a massive fan of this piece of art and like on top of that, when we enter into the battle, she actually is going to go in looking like this. And when that happens, you see like the giant wheel behind her and all of that. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's actually really cool. However, I do have to say that I prefer the Ascension 1 art of Uriel. And so if I was able to actually switch back to that, I'd be so, so happy. Like, I love that. Like, mmm. Dank. And so that's what I think that that system is. So it's the ability to go into the Aurorians and then we're going to actually be able to click into one of these guys. And hopefully there's going to be like an extra tab here. I reckon it's going to be up here. And guys, let's start taking bets. I'm just kidding. This is not a betting channel. Please don't take me down. But yeah, I do think that they're going to add like another button over here or something. And then it's going to be like skins or outfits. This is really hype. I know a lot of people have been asking for it. Like I haven't been bothered by it too much, but like, you know, seeing my Uriel in A1, mm, oh man. And to be honest for me personally, there are actually quite a few characters that I prefer an A1, like Carleen, I love her A1. Uh, Raphael, I like her A3 actually. Sharona, Iridan, I like their A3s. Uh, Midgard, I liked her A1. But yeah, I think you guys get the point, right? Like there's a lot of incredible art in the A1 and A2 space where like it'd be such a waste if we weren't able to actually switch back to it. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about that awesome change and I love to see it. All right, guys, so back to it over here. This is kind of wrapped up. Like this is an outfit system. It's very, very clear. And I think that button is gonna be in that UI, like I said. And so let's start talking about this guy over here, which which is obviously a shoulder of Vice's like summer outfit. And so what this screams out to me is that I think that Vice's outfit has been developed. And so if we were to come back over here, look at this. Wow, that outfit, look at that shoulder. Mm, I noticed that shoulder anywhere. That shoulder is 100% this shoulder over here. Actually, yeah, okay, well, it's pretty close. Okay, it's pretty close. And so in my opinion, I think that the skin we are definitely getting is gonna be Vice's. However, I do think that Vice's skin is gonna be a welfare skin. And what I mean by that is that we're actually gonna be able to get it by like, either at the event or we're going to be able to grind it out in the event shop or we're going to be able to get it like after 10 days of login. That's how I think it's going to work because like a lot of these other characters in the background kind of starting to suggest that there may be other skins that are coming as well. However, do not hold your breath because a lot of the time it could just be concept art. So like what I see over here, I think this is Bethlehem. If I go in a little bit closer, you can see, oh man, look at those legs. I mean, uh, look at the crown up here. That crown, I'm pretty sure is like this boy over here. Okay, it's pretty close. Like that one was white. This one is black. And so what exactly does that tell us? Well, I don't think we're going to be getting Beth in a summer event. I really don't think so. I think if they introduce somebody like Beth, who has been like hyped up so hard, it's going to be coming through like an event like Heroes. And so it's because of these reasons that I don't think we're going to be getting Beth nor this like summer skin of her. All right. On the other hand over here, this looks like Carleen. I think this is Carleen. To be honest, when everyone has white hair or blonde hair, everyone's like starting to look the same, you know, but that's okay because 
I like Colleen as well. And so if we can like nab this summer skin, I am so, so in. Look at that, guys. Like, look at that. It's it's tasteful. It's very, very tasteful. I'm very happy that they're going with like the Arknights direction where like all the characters are very tasteful rather than just like full booba, full sexy, you know? But yeah, that's my take on these skins. I think that there is a possibility of a Colleen skin. I think there is no possibility of Bethlehem nor that skin coming. And I do think that we are going to be getting a Vice skin for free through some kind of login event or something. However, guys, as for the price of the skins themselves, the ones that are actually going to cost something, I do think that they are going to be costing the premium currency. And what I mean by that is that we actually have like a premium currency that sits a tier above Lumamba. So I am talking about these guys over here, the Lumo crystals. And so this is kind of like your original prime in like Arknights. And whilst it is a shame for a lot of free to play players because it means that they can't get the skins, this is probably the logical choice. I personally do think that Alchemy Stars has taken the approach of showering us with like Lumamba and stuff like that. However, I do think that skins is where they're going to really start pulling some big cash. And to really ensure that, I do think that they're going to be taking like the more Genshin approach where you have to use the premium currency to be able to buy the skins. Hopefully the skins won't be too dear. So if you do have like favorite characters, it won't cost too much. But honestly, guys, that's my guess on like how this one is going to play out in terms of pricing. Probably between 8 to 15 USD, something like that, right? Again, guys, speculation. Pure, unfounded speculation. Now let's talk about the meaning of this itself, right? So if we go back to the Twitter post, we're saying the sun, beach, and sea breeze, as well as breathtaking summer views. la di da -di da August 19th, summer won't just end like this. And then we've got this hashtag Ocean Sovereign. I really think that this is actually going to be another event. The amount of content that these guys are pumping out is actually insanely crazy. But I guess with that being said, they have been making like an incredible amount of money. So they are probably like ramping it up. They're like, we cannot lose this momentum. And so it's with these things in mind, which makes me think that this is probably going to be a full fledged event. I don't think that this is going to be like the hero event. I think this is going to be more like the Eve and Sinsa event, especially from like a story writing point of view, like a summer episode is the easiest thing in the world, right? Probably encounter some like evil crabs or evil lobsters or something, or like some like drug lord is trying to get away on a plane that's in the sea, just stuff like that. And like, I don't think that it is above Alchemy Stars to actually write something like that into the game. For me personally, I've been playing a lot of PGR and it's like giving me crippling depression, right? I cannot imagine them ever putting in like some summer event where like, you know, everyone's having fun and everything. And I'm sure it exists, but like, it just doesn't feel like it's in that kind of realm. It's just so dark and depressing. Whereas Alchemy Stars, whilst there is like some dark and some depression, like it's not like full dark depression. All of the lore, all of the backstories, all of those character interactions have shown like, you know, the mood of this is generally like, you know, whilst there are some like real deep stuff going on, like you they can take a break. So yeah, that's why I think this is going to be one of those like inconsequential side stories. However, I do think that there is going to be a side story attached to it. So you guys already know what that's going to look like. We're going to have an event shop. We're going to have event quests. We're going to have event stages, and then we're going to have some challenge modes. Me personally, actually on that note, I do want to quickly review the hero event because there were a lot of things that I was like wanting from the Eve and Sincer event that actually made it into the hero event. First of all, is this guy over here. So this is the quest completions. And as you can see, there is no like, oh, you got to pull hero to finish four of our quests. I love to see it. It's just very, very fundamental. It's a very, very rudimentary thing. It's a small thing, but it is like a massive thing in terms of like to the emotions. For me, when I finish all of this, it's going to make me feel like I actually finished the event. Whereas when we got to the end of the even since the event, it did not feel like I finished it because of those like, oh, you got to upgrade even since to like break through three or something. I'm like, what? I don't even have evil since I got a Raphael instead. But yeah, a small change, but a really good change because like just thinking from the emotional aspect for all of the casual players, it just feels really good for this one. And so the next I want to talk about is this boy over here, which is actually really good because this is not something that I actually thought about. And what I want to talk about for this one is that whenever you progressed or like you hit the major prize in one of the prize pools, you move on to the next one. And so what that means is that if this pool had a hundred and I hit this one on my first shot, I could actually move over to prize pool three, right? However, the way that Alchemy Stars has done it is like, I wouldn't say it's innovative because it's so obvious, but like it is innovative because nobody else is doing it. Typically speaking, when you skip to the next box, it means that you can't actually clear out the ones in like the existing box or the one that you just skipped actually. However, in Alchemy Stars, they actually let you go back and clear the rest of the items. So what this means is that you can actually like spend all of your time prioritizing. So like if, for example, you hit this one, you can be like, well, I want to move on just in case I don't have enough time to play. I'm going to hit this one and I'm just going to keep going, get all of the high value rewards first. And then I can go back and pick up what I did not get over the first run. This system is so obvious, but most gadgets actually don't do this. I mean, like all of the gadgets that I play don't do this that have this kind of system. Like for me, I think like Princess Connect, like if you choose to move on, you're moving on, bro. Like you're not coming back to get all of the other stuff. But yeah, enough about that one. Massive praise there. Like, I don't know why that's so mind blowing. As for the story itself, I really liked 
it, like, you know, it was a lot of lore behind Hero. It was a lot going on. And to be honest, up until this point, I thought Hero just had a massive stick up her butt. But with all of this characterization, I thought it just made her a lot more interesting. A lot of background, great story, great rewards. But yeah, all in all, this part was really, really good. But yeah, having this event, like, every so often, I think it's really, really good because, like, this is very similar to, again, the Arknights model, the Inspired model. I reckon it's going to be, like, grind event where it's going to be kind of like the Sinsa and Eve event. And then you're going to have, like, the kind of free event. And what I mean by that is, like, you can do whatever the heck you want and you'll still progress in that event. And then I think it's going to actually alternate between these two until they come up with something that's a little bit more groundbreaking, like maybe a roguelike. Never mind, Alchemy Stars already has a roguelike, so it may be like a CC equivalent instead, right? Like a contingency contract. And for you guys who don't know what CC is, don't worry about it. All I mean is like something that's like really, really different, right? There are so many different things that they could be doing with this game. Like they could be puzzles. They could be like, well, yeah, probably puzzles. But I'm sure you guys have a way better imagination than me. But like, yeah, all in all, this event, love it. It was great. Their willingness to listen to feedback, nine out of 10. Why nine out of 10? Because I got screwed on the hero banner and I got screwed on the even since a banner. And I don't think I'm going to stop getting screwed. I still really wish that they're going to add that like guaranteed pity for one of the characters at least. Even just being able to like guarantee one copy of it, like not like a continuous guarantee. Like bro, that would be so freaking big. Like, oh my God, I can't remember. Well, I can't remember how tilted I was when I didn't hit hero. But yeah, for the banner itself, I do think that the best compromise is to be able to actually guarantee like the five star or the six star once at least. Maybe the second time you hit the guaranteed six star, you hit the hero. Just something like that, right? And honestly, a lot of people have it way more rough than me. I know a lot of people were aiming for Eve last banner and they got three senses and vice versa. And like, yeah, it's it's just not a good time, you know? All right, I think that's it. That's my thoughts on the events, like and like the events itself, as well as the summer event. And again, because heroes was like kind of like a free farm kind of event, I do think that the next one, the summer event is going to be like a structured Eve since a story driven one. And so guys, I actually finished recording. However, like two minutes later, this bad boy came out. And so what it is, is across three days of procs, we're going to be getting a limited time free summer kit in which we get 100 Lumamba and 120 Prism per day. We are just constantly getting showered. And honestly, if they threw it at my face, I'd be like, yeah, hit me daddy. But yeah, another awesome event. I am sure they're going to tweet out more after I finish recording this, but like you guys can already expect it, right? It's only going to be good things from here. To be honest, guys, I don't think Alchemy Stars has like made many mistakes so far. I think they have actually done such a great job. And I don't think that they're going to be changing that anytime, especially because we're linked to the JP servers as well. But yeah, aside from that, excited for these changes, excited for the summer event because mm, summer, uh, it is the best time of the year. It is the time of youth, of passion. And so that being said, let's start wrapping this video up. I've got a secret message for you guys, and that is summer episode. We have made it all the way to episode 12. It is the summer event. Everyone is going on vacation and it is just going to be a good time. However, on top of that, let me know how you feel about my speculations and if you guys disagree or agree. And if there are things that you think I did miss out on, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, otherwise, please drop all of that down in the comments below because it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a pin. You guys already know what it is. If you would like to support the channel, we've got a membership thing as well as some affiliate links down in the description. If you're lonely or looking for some help, come join the Discord. But otherwise, as my sensei once said to me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.